What's up, YouTube? We're back with a new video. If you haven't liked it already, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, if you're new, obviously subscribe. We got content coming. Today, we're at Mitch's right now, and we're about to get rid of the Cavalier. So that's going to be gone. Um, the guy is going to be coming later on today and picking it up. Um, so this is going to be the end of the Turbo Cavalier, unfortunately, but it needs to go. We got other projects coming, like his truck and my Miata. So stay tuned for all that. We have a lot of work to do. So we're going to be cleaning these cars up, doing all the maintenance, all the mechanical work and making it real nice and just really cool project cars. So uh, stay tuned for that. But today we're at Mitch's. We got to go uh, get the car started again because it was having trouble yesterday trying to get it started. But by the time this video is up, it's going to probably be Tuesday of next week. So we're going to we're going to get this car started. Probably needs gas. So we probably have to get gas and fun stuff like that. Yesterday, uh, we were having issues with the battery. So we I think he just went to go get the battery charged. He's back now and I'm about to go in and see what he's up to right this second. I think he's just cleaning out the garage and stuff. Yeah, let's go see what he's doing. And uh, this is going to be fun. Ooh, Turbo Cavalier. Ooh. Oh, hey, boy. Okay. Wow. There's a Miata in here. Yeah, Look at that. Yeah. Yesterday, if you haven't seen the video, I'll link it right here. But we got the Miata in the in the shop here. We're going to be working on this eventually. Mm -hmm. We got Mitchie. What are we doing today? Um, I'm getting everything I own for the calves down and out. Uh, so that way when the guy comes, we mm -hmm. can just load it all in the car after he, we take it for a ride. Put it on the trailer and say our goodbyes. And say goodbye to uh, this beast right here. Did you get the battery charged up? It's at the parts store right now. He's like, oh, it's got nine volts. You want? You might want to buy a new battery. I'm like, I'm selling the car, so no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not the other guy deal with it. I don't think they've ever seen the book of receipts. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, this is um this book right here. I call it a book because it's all the receipts of every single thing the previous owner, not this of this car, but the parts car we had. Yeah. I'll link that up here too. That we took all the parts of that old car and put it into here. But and this is all the receipts. It's of literally just what's in it. Like books and just books. Yeah, these it's are just... all receipts of different kinds of parts and radiator this, and all this that. This is just stuff. the receipts from the parts car. This is not including the all my stuff that I bought for that. Yeah. That so, is absolutely insane. There's probably about thirty-five thousand dollars worth of oh, yeah. receipts, we were going not including the, his we stuff. We were going through it last night. And each receipt, you were saying what on average had about every two is about a hundred dollars. Yeah, every two, and there is a lot. A book. And the <laughs> maximum I think we found was what, like a, almost a thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A thousand dollar receipt. And I have all these receipts are from starting from like two thousand and five to like. 2011. Yeah, dude, that's absolutely insane. Do you have that? Um, oh, you got the title there for it. Yeah. Okay. With hundreds of dollars in it. All oh, right here. Yeah. This alone is hundreds and hundreds of dollars. That's just for just body work when the parts car was. Um, that's insane, dude. That's so much money. That's just a bunch yeah, of yeah, so like a yeah, that is so much money. Well, the previous owner of that parts car put some serious money in that. Yeah, he, he put a good chunk in. He put a lot more than I did. Oh, he's insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, his car, but, his car is that now. It, yeah, it's literally this. Half the car, half the parts from that car is uh, on here. Yeah. But yeah, that's uh, that's crazy. Mitch has bins and bins of Turbo Cavalier parts. <laughs> oh my god. A bunch of lines. Ho hoses for stuff. This is here. Actually, coolant jug. Coolant jug. Oh, that's greasy. Brand new slave cylinder. Wow. Fuel pump. Huh. Fuel pumps. Power steering pump. <laughs> Dude, this so dude much stuff. Buying it, he's, he's getting a deal he's, and a half, yeah. dude. For the amount of money you put into this car, dude. I alone probably have about, I don't know, what would you say, probably 20 grand? I would say roughly $20,000 worth in yeah, just probably, mechanical parts and stuff. That's that's a lot. That's a lot of money. Just, and I still have all of that up there. Yeah. We just popped the hood of the Miata. Ooh, that's gross of me. I think I cleaned this and it still didn't come out all the way. It's like... It needs a good power. This rod. is an after. Well, I picked this hood up from the junkyard uh, because it was a lot cleaner and less bent, and it even has this original sticker and stuff. Dude, I've never actually paid attention, but your brake lines, for being this old, they're still like brand. They might be new. Brand, no, those literally look like OEM. 
always like they've never seen like dude usually i mean if you even look at the calf just from having just a little bit of water they start yeah. to like Corroding. oxidize yeah but like those fittings and everything clean right it must have it must have been kept in i honestly i gotta think this is either a garage kept car or it's a, it's a uh like southern state car probably there's, yeah there's literally no rust or rot other than that little we hole. have a little hole in the back corner but that's um, typical for miata yeah it's nothing dude it's, even underneath it's really dude, clean there's the, like no rust. even the bolts and everything are still like, it's like dude, brand look, new even right all those clamps yeah it's like brand new this car is mint that's why we we really did buy it like the car is good but it's just a lot of damage around body damage. That's yeah, all. It's it really needs, it needs nothing body work. wrong with it. Honestly, what if we what, uh, when we pull the motor, degreaser and a power washer. Yeah, and clean this whole thing up. Out. Yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do. I gotta fix a lot of things, but. So Mitch and I were uh, messing around, got all the Cavalier shit all on the ground, all the parts and stuff. The hood, the uh, two hoods actually, the uh, trunk lid, uh spare all these bins and boxes of parts for the cavalier all filled all it's you have so much you have probably even more than this honestly there's uh, you probably have just a bunch of random stuff i, know I have some random stuff laying around that i can't think of where they yeah where it is, but. yeah dude this is a lot a lot of parts i've so. owned the car nine years so it's yeah i mean yeah you collected a bit over the years but uh what we got to do now is go get some um i was about to say propane but we got to get the battery that's charging at the parts store and we got to get fuel right now so we could try to get this car started or we might have to play with that for a little bit so we're gonna go do that right now so i'll uh update you guys once we're we're doing it yep. you know we're, we're just doing the damn thing. we're just always doing the damn thing you know <laughs> making fun of my mirror it might fall off dude, dude this thing's a pile of <laughs> shit <I can't. laughs> on another episode of uh mitch's piles out here we got the mirror again, trying to fall off. Dude, trying if I hit like away. 65 on the thrill, that trim piece will actually fly off. Yeah, I know, you roll the window down and it just... Is that put to the floor? Yes. And it sounds like the motor's ready to fucking pull <laughs> Welcome to Advanced Auto Charts. <laughs> that battery, I mean. And then we gotta get some gasoline and then we can drive the... I almost said Miata. Cavalier. All right, we're back at the shop here. We, uh, we gotta fill the cab up with gas and then we're gonna try to uh, put the battery in and try to get it started real quick but um it might not start i have no idea but if it doesn't start we're gonna have to jump it off the cat the cap i mean the miata here and uh see what happens so i'll let you know as soon as we fill it up all right we're gonna start the cap see what happens here fire night off let her idle for a minute. Oh my god. Don't forget all that fuel we had in there. Oh. Or lack of fuel. No, we had a lot of fuel in that. Fresh part. diesel swap right here. <laughs> this is bad. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh my god. Turbo Cavalier and going for a rip, you need gas. It's probably really bad. Oh. Right out front of his house here. This guy. <laughs> Happy now? Seeing it in the driveway is fucking kind. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. One more rip. Yeah. 
yeah, that didn't sound great. I don't know what that was. All right, guys, we're back at the shop here. I forgot to record, actually. So uh, pretty much all we were doing is cleaning up everything, making it all organized and neat again. Um, then eventually we're going to move the Miata over more uh, somewhere over here. Once uh, we make some room, we're going to clear all this stuff out, put it in the cab. And when the guy comes here, he's going to probably take the rest in his truck or whatever. So, so we're just hanging out, waiting for the dude to show up. Probably got another hour or whatever. So <laughs> I know. So we'll see. I'll update you guys as soon as we know what's going on. It's a sad day for Mitch. Saying goodbye to his hopes and dreams. <laughs> it's going. It's going to be on a trailer getting shipped off to Mexico. Wherever it's going, I have no idea. But Yeah, Mexico. Same thing. Oh, okay. It's not that far. We started dating because it blew up. <laughs> Literally, everything I know. blew up. So, I didn't think I would feel this way, but I am, I'm actually feeling pretty sad now. It's actually going. I bet he's just crying inside right now. Okay. He's just holding in the tears. Damn. Well, Damn. I cried. I know, right? This is it. So. I do. <laughs> oh, you're just cooling down. It's just so hot out, you know. Big yeah. money man Mitch out here. <laughs> All right, so the cab is gone. The cab is gone. <laughs> uh, we got the Miata. We got money for the Miata. You got He's gonna build my Miata, no problem. But uh, we're, I'm just gonna end this video here. You've seen what happened. Cab is gone. That's it for that. I mean, we'll probably see it again some other time. Yeah, uh, he said he lives about two hours away from here, and he goes to um, a drag strip uh, a little while of the ways here that I've, I go to occasionally. Yeah. So I said, whenever you go there, I'm, I I will be on my way. Yeah, exactly. You get to see it, hear yeah. it, because that car is yeah. absolutely insane. He said he's going to do some cool shit to it. He's going to take care of it. He understands the pain and suffering. But, uh, yeah, I mean, next time we see it, it'll be be a different car it'll look completely different it's not a nine, it's it won't still even. next time exactly i don't know but we have a whole nother project to do you have a whole nother car to build mm -hmm. we have this to build all that fun stuff but i'm gonna end the video here again if you guys liked it give it a thumbs up and subscribe and um yeah i will see you in the next one peace <laughs>